Maybe the 10 Finney bars last night wasn't such a good idea. I woke up about five times during the night, so I had two of each, which explained the, way, the, the reason I have like 10 more pounds in my face right now. So hopefully that added bloat will help me with my workout this morning once I get awake. So recently what happened is that I kind of fell to an old demon. My old, my old way, my personal way of training is to rely on the basic, a few basic movements, doing more sets, doing low reps. What happened is that I gradually added more isolation exercises in my, in my workout. And when I did that, it gave me good results. Obviously, I wasn't do, doing much isolation workout at all. So when I started doing some, it gave me new results. So obviously, when that happens, you tend to go overboard. So I started to add more and more and more isolation exercises, doing more and more and more uh, intensity technique. What that did is that it kind of killed my motivation to train. The one important point I realized is that for me to feel good, have good performance, and have an improvement in performance throughout the day, my workouts have to activate me more than they're fatiguing me. Never chase fatigue, chase performance. So I started to get back to my old way of training, which is in your program, the high frequency strength work. My favorite rep scheme is the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown for strength. Uh, basically, I start with a weight that's fairly easy for five. Then I will add weight every set while dropping a, a rep every set. So one set of five, one set of four, one set of three, one set of two, one set of one. If I'm still feeling good and I have more strength, I might do a few more single reps. Now the movements I'm doing is trap bar deadlift, the overhead press. Then I'll have the partial lat pull down. To that I'll have my ego movement. Uh, I'll do standing biceps curl. Sometimes might be a, a, an exercise. It could be preacher curl. It could be any isolation movement I want. It doesn't really fit within the high frequency strength thing. I could probably find a scientific answer while I'm doing the curls. In reality, it's just I want bigger arms. Now let's skip the, that golden one. Starting to have, not so sure it's a good feeling. Don't feel the muscle working. I did for the first three sets. Last one, so, so. So I'd rather leave that movement alone, not to take bad motor rabbit. Remember that the goal is not to go for a maximum. The purpose of high frequency strength is to practice the basic movements often, every day, with a somewhat challenging load. But if you go too heavy, you actually limit your capacity to perform the next day by burning up the nervous system. So you want to go fairly heavy, but not so much as it's a challenge on the nervous system. Remember, you want to activate, not fatigue the nervous system. That's fairly easy. I could probably do, if I really want to push it, 40 pounds more, 50. No grinding, very easy, but I felt like a humming in my head, probably like blood pressure or something. I'm gonna stop there. I said I will work out this afternoon. But I'm fairly satisfied with that for our frequency strength. <sighs> Easy. But we'll still call it a day. It's always better to err on the side of stopping too soon for our frequency strength. And you're still taking about 90% weight. So it's still a decent stimulus. Remember, you are doing this on a daily basis. So it's the accumulation over the whole week that will stimulate the great gains you're getting.